Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Now in today's video guys, I'm going to be bringing you the best, basically one of the best blitzes you can do in Madden right now. This is out of the 3-4 Bear formation, which is in the 4-6 Baltimore Ravens, Chicago Bears, New York Giants, and the New York Jets defensive playbooks. And honestly guys, this is one of the best formations in the game and it is very, very good. So let's go ahead, let's get into it. So how you're going to do this is we have a couple plays we're going to go over or this is going to be the main play is going to be this pinch bucko which is the x1 the x play right here but we're also going to show how to mitch or or i'm going to show how you guys can go ahead and mix in coverages and fool your opponents thinking blitz but then you drop back in coverage so let's go ahead let's get into what you have to do for this play so what you have to do for this play, this is a very, very simple blitz you guys can go ahead and pick up on. So go and pinch buck O, and then we're going to select a random offensive play for the Packers. All you have to do is baseline and press. So how to do this, you plus wire triangle on Xbox, and then right on the left stick, that's going to baseline, and then press is wire triangle, and down on the left stick. And now the major thing is too, you want to turn auto flip off, that's your major thing that you want to do. Then you want to go ahead and user the man that is on the running back. So we're going to go ahead and run this play and see how it goes. And as you can see, against the run, we're able to shoot that gap, and that is pretty good. So I'm actually going to go quickly though and turn off the the auto flip because that's manually on in practice or that's automatically on so i'm going to go ahead turn off auto flip and we're going to resume this play but yeah i mean i've been using this blitz and i've used this blitz a few times and honestly it's very very good so just baseline and press okay so all you have to do is just baseline and press and then in this case Jawan bentley i believe is the linebacker on the running back or actually no it's actually going to be patrick chung is on the running back and Jawan bentley is actually on the fullback but we're going to go ahead, and as you can see, they actually go with an RPO here. And the thing is, though, on RPOs, you can go ahead and get burned because not a lot of corners are going to be to the outside. Not a lot of support is going to be there. But you're going to go ahead and press. And as you can see, lining up the same formation. And they do, in fact, as you can see, Patrick Chung is on the running back. But I don't, man, that pressure got there mighty, mighty fast. And, the, the you know, the biggest thing is, though, the thing that is going to really destroy this blitz is blocking the running back. That's a great way to go ahead and counter this blitz is if you block the running back. That's going to be your major thing. But as you can see, you can go ahead and manually rush. You know, if not a lot of routes are open, you could just manually rush. I'm just going to go down for the sake of this video. But what we're going to do, same thing, baseline and press. And then the man that's on the running back right now is going to be Devin McCourty. So we're going to go ahead. If he does indeed block the running back, we're going to go ahead and shoot that gap. And we're going to see if we can do something with that. So he's going to motion out. And as you can see, they actually do a run with the fullback. And the, the thing also is you can get destroyed up the middle. So a way to go ahead and combat that is actually crashing your D-line up the middle or pushing your D-line to the middle or pinching your D-line, I should say, in like simpler terms. But yeah, what you can do, you can go ahead, use your Javon, Javon Bentley here. And they're going to go ahead. They're going to run a jet sweep. And as you can see, just completely blown up. Pressure got there very, very quickly. So base and line press once again. And then to stop the inside run, go ahead and print and then pinch the D line and also slant inside. And that will basically neutralize the run up the middle. But as you can see, look at that pressure getting there. Thing is, if they don't block a running back, then it's going to be very, very good. But if they do, then here's actually something you can go ahead and do. You can go ahead and just manually rush with your user so let's say my user is mccordy right and he goes ahead and he blocks the running back well in that case i'll go ahead and just rush with mccordy but as you can see look at that man that pressure got there in like three seconds play action is basically non-existent with this play because it is just so good the pressure just gets there very quickly now it also will help if you do have some good speed guys on the outside on the edge rushing positions such as like Lawrence Taylor and whatnot and Mutt if you guys if you have those guys they're gonna be really good in this play because they're gonna be able to go ahead and rush the quarterback and they're gonna be able to do it very quickly but as you can see they blocked the running back we, uh, we were still able to get the pressure and the sack there but yeah i mean i recommend though obviously with any blitz you don't want to run this every single play like constantly because eventually your opponent will catch on but as you can see if they don't block the running back that's two guys coming in and you will you will get absolutely destroyed so this play is very very nice for anybody that wants to go ahead and have a nice blitz in madden now granted i would recommend the giants playbook because they're, they're one of the best playbooks, but as you can see, we got burned with Devontae Adams. That will happen, so 
just kind of keep in mind that if they go ahead and run a pass then you might be screwed but if they don't then quite frankly you will be pretty good so there we go and also go ahead and it'll be nice if you put your user in the box like this box in the middle of the field that way you can go ahead and do that but as you can see they were very very ill-advised pass that won't usually be caught in regs or an ultimate team so you just got to keep that in mind so now what we're going to be doing though is mixing in coverages so all you got to do here is do the same adjustments and run a run these plays so run cover two invert cover three and we're also going to try it with this pinch dog three we're going to try it with it here so we're going to go ahead we're going to go baseline and press and what i'm going to be using here is this patrick chung uh, or the middle guy that's on the hook i'm going to be going ahead and using him and as you can see we were able to stop him he didn't get a lot of yards and yeah basically you go ahead you mix in coverages like that it's gonna really help you and then also if you want you can go and shade underneath or shade over the top so we're just gonna focus on this play right now but as you can see that usually wouldn't be caught in regs i don't think so how you gonna actually do this the the what's it called shade over top or shade underneath depending on the down and distance you would shade over the top if it's a long down and distance and i would shade underneath if it's like less than five yards but how to do that you press wire triangle and then down on the right stick is underneath and then up on the right stick is going to be over the top so we're going to shade underneath in this case and we're going to go ahead we're just going to do this and as you can see shading the underneath routes and aaron jones literally like the the out the routes are just non-existent so we're just going to go baseline press and then let's say if it's a long down and distance go ahead shade over the top that's going to put him in curl flats and also if you go ahead and do like underneath and then also like if you shade underneath first then go shade over the top what will happen is instead of them being curl flats it will now be cloud flats so just kind of keep that in mind but as you can see they're going to go ahead just kind of a short pass and man we could have picked that up but yeah essentially that's how you're going to go ahead and do it and now we're going to go ahead we're going to be going over the other plays which is the cover two and the cover three so basically basically it's just the same man cover three and cover two are basically just the same they're the cover two invert you can go ahead do it it's just the same now uh, and also another tip that would help is if these guys on the edge had a lot of speed so for example Chase Winovich has a lot of speed coming from the right end position. He has 85 speed and also Jamie Collins has 85 speed. Now, granted, these guys that you're going to be going ahead and seeing probably won't have like that's they won't be. I don't think they're slow in some cases, but you definitely want to go ahead and like make subs. Like, let's say someone on the bench here. Like, yeah, as you can see, nobody on the bench has really a lot of speed. Well, actually, this guy, Brandon King, has 89 speed. That's going to be really, really good on the line. So what we'll do here, we're going to make him a eligible right outside linebacker because goodness gracious, man, he will be so good if you can go ahead and get him. But yeah, Brandon King is a special teamer. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to exchange him for, let's go with this Calhoun guy. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to go into the formation, the 3-4 bear, and we're going to click R1 or RB. We're going to make some subs and we're going to make it so that it's going to be and we're going to go with Jamie Collins and then as well as this Bernard King we're going or this King guy we're going to go ahead we're going to put him on the edge that way you're going to have some pressure or speed coming off the edge and then also if you want go ahead and you can make some adjustments here too do like Dante Hightower maybe you can replace him with Van Noy or Landon Roberts or something probably Landon Roberts because to be honest Dante Hightower it's kind of slow he's not really the best guy but we're going to run this play one more time just to kind of show you guys what we're going to do here so just baseline and press and then we're going to go ahead user McCordy because he's on the running back we're going to bring him around right here so we're going to show you guys so basically they're going to go ahead and just up the middle. He ended up like beating my user. But as you can see, not a lot of yards. And that's basically the blitz I'm going to be showing you guys. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like. Trash match five likes. Thank you guys so much for watching. But most importantly, stay classy.